Welcome back to this a Brady the Boss West Ham United Directors Challenge episode. Today we have a double header. We have Manchester City in the Premier League. We will then play off screen in the third round EFL Cup and then we have Tottenham. Old Portachino once again. And I was hoping we'll get the better of them this season after that triumphant win that we left you with. Uh, for the first game of the season but things haven't been going to plan so let's get in let's first here we are transfer screen let's have a look who else did we bring in right so end of the season I'm trying to work out who it was look at the date so we brought in some players andrew Robinson, a left back two and a half star i don't think he's that good i think we just need a left back the good ones we wanted we didn't manage to pull in so the director of football just brought in someone don't think he's going to play, but, you know, a player's a player. We've then brought in Adam Traore from... Oh, he played for Barcelona B for a bit, but from Middlesbrough for 6.75 million. So I think a bit of a bargain. Started at Barca. I didn't really start at Barca. Um, oh, go back to him. So he's come in as another backup on the right side. Um, you will see we have lost some, if you haven't seen already, some of our wingers. So he's come in with the potential to be a quality player, replacing some of the other players we had in. So decent stats, decent crossing, uh, decent dribbling, sorry, different acceleration, good pace, flair. We'll see. Good backup to Zaha, I think. We have also then brought in Ben Beck, the 18-year-old English striker from MK Dons. For 675000 I think it's one for the future. We're going to send him out on loan. Decent, 15 finishing, 18 is not bad. Okay on physicals. Good flair, work rate and determination, probably going to let him down. But, you know, one for the future, Ben Beck. I just like his name. And on the outs. So, oh, you wouldn't have seen it because it was here. So a lot of loans. Mr. Mr. West Ham himself, Mark Noble, gone out on loan as well. He's going to come to an end. But we have lost Anwar El Ghazi. He wanted to leave. I didn't think he'd actually go. 9.75 million made a loss on him we've only, put, only had him in for a couple of seasons never quite hit form a little bit didn't he in the last season but then couldn't hold on to, couldn't keep it so he's gone out for 9.75 million at a loss not great but then also Danny Welbeck's gone 28 year old Danny Welbeck again we were trying to find places for him wasn't the out and out striker we wanted but you know did alright when he was on the wings decent stats really good physicals Man City have bought him back. So we Man City bought him from Arsenal for 16.25 million. We then got him for 7.25 and sold him back for 17 million. So they paid more than they paid the first time. He only played, only played 14 games for us, got seven goals. Or to be fair, the most he's had in a season for a while. So that was not one. But I kind of liked Danny Welbeck. I wanted to keep him in. So we're a little bit short now when we look at our team. In terms of those wingers, we're down to bare bones. Let's have a look at the schedule and that that moving around of players I think has screwed up our form. So we beat Chelsea two one as we left. We then played Crystal Palace and lost two one. These were that goal in the ninety plus minute was very lucky. We should, did we deserve the draw? I think it was a good game. We then smashed Norwich. We then smashed Peterborough. We lost three 0 to Leicester. We just got outplayed. Um again that away form looking to be the problem. A loss there, a loss there. We then lost 4-3 to Stoke. This was frustrating, I was going to swear. Troy Deeney got a hat-trick. All of them were just typical Stoke, bloody Big Sam, long ball goals. They put, I think there were three, one was a um, corner and two others were free kicks. Just punted in and for some reason he we couldn't get anything on him. He's too big and fat and our defenders couldn't handle him. So we ended up losing 4-3. We got our goals back but 4-3, I was annoyed. So we now come in, we've got the Man City game, I'll play the running game off screen, and then we have the Tottenham game at home. So, that will be a big one, we're not coming into the best of form, we need to have a good game here against Man City. And we are away, so I will be playing the defensive formation, with the fullbacks on defend, Rossiter dropping in as a ball wing midfielder on defend, but otherwise leaving it pretty much the same. I've got it on short closing and close down more, so short passing and close down more. Idea being that we play at normal tempo, don't play so wide, we get the ball back and then we keep it. And we see how that goes. Had a team meeting to sort out the morale, it's kind of half worked. But this is the team I think we're gonna go for. I'm pretty happy with it. So it is Aldero at the back, Cresswell at left back, Sartre and Oxford is the centre of the centre back partnership, Williams at right back, Rossiter in central midfield, defensive, Onomar in the roaming playmaker, 
Are you Payet Zaha and Andon up front? And we shall see what that gets us. We've got Saka on the bench in case we need a, a striker to come in. Troy Oe also on the bench. Sebolas is coming for Payet if need be. But we haven't really got, in terms of left wingers now, we've got Dolberg and Payet. So there may be a bit of moving around, mooching around. We'll see how that goes. I thought I had too many options and now I'm scared I haven't got enough. So, City lining up with similar formation. We're hoping that Rossler does a job here in defence. Who do we want to even mark in this game? Let's leave it at that for now. Give them a save. Give the fans what they want. So we are at the City of Manchester Stadium. We're really hoping for a draw. A sneaky little 1-0 win here. Not a hiding. If we can... Hold off having multiple goals scored against us. That would be lovely. But like I said, we haven't tested this formation. So let's see how it goes. Corner in here though. Oof. Set pieces would be lovely. Rossiter, where is he going? Where is he going? He is lost. Goes into Williams. Right, out to Sar. Can we go out left? He's gone all the way back to Odero. Right, let's start again. Sar, Rossiter. You go inside. Payet. Oof. Tries to find Zaha, does not make the pass. Lozano, Griezmann, right, Griezmann's got five or six to beat here, so we're hoping we can cut the ball out. Oh! Lozano just dances inside and puts the ball over. First shot of the game, eight minutes in. Okay, another City attack here, it looks like. Lozano again, we're going to have to close him down. Takes a tame shot, let's do that now so we don't forget. Lozano closing down, tackling hard. Okay, 35 minutes in. This game is eking away. A corner now. Payet. Oh, no one there. Can he get the second ball? He can. Puts it into Oxford. Oxford's not going to shoot, is he? Good. Rossiter goes back home to Cresswell. Anoma. Right, we're keeping the ball. Can we get a shot away? Ah, Anoma's long shots are terrible. He tries them all the time, and they are crap. A couple of 6.5s. 6.4 from Andon in there. I wanted him to play well this season. I wanted him to get some goals. Right, we can still come out with a win. Come on, boys. Might have to bring on Sebolas in for Payet. Right, we've got the ball back here. Oh, Neymar, are you? And that comes to nothing. Zaha into Andon. Turns. Oh, he's goal. He's goal. Oh, he got through on goal. One on one and didn't manage to score. Andon. Jeez, you need to put those away. 50 minutes in. Right, he's not having a good game. Right, let's make this double sub then. Sebolas on. Sarko on. Come on, Sarko. You'd have scored that one-on-one, -on -one, wouldn't you? Need these goals. That was our clear-cut chance there. Are oh, you not having a great game either? 83 minutes. Roster picks up a yellow card. Right, Odero here plays the ball out. Oxford. Back to Odero. Big kick up to Sarko. Doesn't win header. I know my does, though. Sebolos, can we get something here? He plays the ball out to Ayu. Who wins? Okay, good. We're keeping the ball. I'm liking this tactic. We're keeping the ball well. I know, Mark. Are you? Are you? Go. Ooh, tries to play inside. Sane picks up the ball here. Straight up to Griezmann. Griezmann's got four to beat. Oh, good. Gets past two, but the third one gets him. De Bruyne here. Oh, no. Griezmann. Oh, on the 88th minute. Why? De Bruyne here. Plays out to Lozano. We cut him out. Oh, and Griezmann puts it past. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Can we get anything back now? No, this is going to eke away these last 10 seconds. Are you? Can you put a ball in? Oh, he puts a lovely ball in. Why didn't we go for it? Oh, how do you call time there, referee? Come on, give me a break. We were still attacking. We were unfortunate today. We were unlucky. 1-0 against City is not a bad result, but to lose that late on. Ugh. Six games, six points. We're down in 15th. This is not looking good. So, I will go and play the next game against Reading and see you for the Tottenham Derby, which will be at home. I don't want to get beaten by Portugino again. Okay, welcome back. This is the Tottenham game, the Derby grudge match. We just beat Reading 3-0 quite comfortably. 
Mosquito well, having a great game. Sevilla's having a good game, and Troyer having a good game as well. Troyer is actually our top goal scorer, so he is starting out on the right today. I'm just trying to work out because of that win. Do I make as many changes as I was going to? I think I'm going to have to. Right, 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 right. Okay, this is what we're going to go with. So we're going to go with Odero at the back, Cresswell at the left, Saar and Oxford across the middle. I'm still unsure whether because they're both quite young, whether I need to leave one of the oldies in there just to shore them up. But I'm sure we will find out. Williams at right back. Then we've got a Neymar and Mosquera in the middle. Rosso to not playing well. Been sent off a couple of times. He's improving because he's playing, but I'm not so sure. Um, so we'll leave Mosquera in there for now. Are you Payet, Triore, and Andon up top? Andon had a good game um, along with Dolberg. Sebolos, that the, when in that EFL Cup game, the four, my four spearhead, worked quite well together. Unfortunately, I think I want to keep Sarko on the bench to come on because he is a goal scorer. But we'll go, we'll go with this. I'm, I'm fairly confident. This is the home formation, so we'll go with the home formation. Hope that Tottenham don't do what they normally do, which is just come and absolutely nail us. We're currently sitting in 16th, so we need this win. So let's see both lining up fairly similarly we know Harry Kane's going to be a pain to be honest we know most of these players are going to be a pain let's go with that pick up where you left off oh god here we go at home against Portuccino's Tottenham who have slaughtered us on many occasion that's a horrible end of season loss we had to them. And Don puts a great ball in there. No one was there though. Mosquera picks up the ball into Neymar. Traore, Payet, and Don. He scored. And Don scored. We scored first. Come on. That's what I wanted from him. Payet playing a great ball there. So we've struck first. Sadarive here. And Neymar picks up the ball into Traore. Cuts inside. Uses Payet. Just turns it around the corner. And, and Don. Fires it in the bottom corner. First blood to West Ham. Now can we... Well, so they've got attack in. Do we straight away just go to counter? I think we do. We know Portino likes to tweak during the game. And he usually beats me at that, that game. The old tactic game. Kane's at the ball here. Saar takes it off him with ease. And on. Can he hold it up? He plays a ball to... Oh, it wasn't great. He's picked up the second ball though. And Neymar... He's lost it. Dia making a great tackle there. Oh, massive ball over the top. Kane's one on one. Oh, Dero makes the save. That was ridiculous. Playing bloody route one football against me. Portuccino, you bugger. Big ball in. Williams clears. Out to Lamella. Into Deli Alley. We shut him down. Ericsson. Oxford. God, get rid of the ball. There we go. Cresswell clears. That was a bit ping pong. Out to Triori. Can he hit the... Oh, I thought he was going to carry on running. Danny Rose has made the tackle. Give him a red. 32 minutes in, we're still holding on. We're still on counter. They're still on attacking, I think. Yeah. Can we make it to half time? We have made it to half time. Right, let's give him an assertive. Things going away, but I know you're capable of better or don't get complacent. Let's go for don't get complacent. Yes, gained focus. That's what we wanted. I was a bit worried there. Morale's not been great. This will really boost morale, though, if we can hold on to this. Troy always got the ball. Cuts inside. Ooh, come to nothing. Williams with a throw in. Mosquera picks up. Williams again into Mosquera. Payet. And don't. Troy Oh, he's hit the bar. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. Troy Please. Payet with a free kick. Oh, he's hit the crossbar as well. If there was ever a time for Payet to put that in. Damn it. Right, 66 minutes. Who's looking tired? Mosquera, I'm looking at you. 68%. Right, 10 minutes left. Mosquera is tired. Two minutes left. We're going on defensive. Into an Omar. Payet. Triore. Right, he beats his man. Look at that pace. Rose cuts in, but... Oh, I thought Andon was going to pick that up. Rose, Deli Alley. Oh no, no! Oh, Odero makes a save there. We have four or five players chasing there. Are you clears? Lovely job by Are you? Lamella into all the world. Oh my God, they're coming at us now. Oh, Troyo, he goes in. Free kick though. 
on the edge of the box. And then Lamella. Oh, he goes for goal. Greedy. That's it. Three minutes left. Come on. 30 seconds. Let's keep the ball. Keep the ball. Why did you give it away? Why did you give it away? Carrillo comes forward into Lamella. Mosquera makes the tackle. Brilliant tackle. And Don. Right, can we go? Are you? Just run to the corner. And Don. Pay it. Pay it, you tit. Oh, and that's it. Ah, we've done it. We've done it. We beat up them. We beat up them. Come on. Ah. I don't think I've beat Porcino in this series to date. Come on, the boys. Up to 13. Gives us the nine points. And we get the win over Porticino. And on's goal in the second minute. I don't care if it's 1-0. I don't care if we ground it out. We needed that win. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm so happy. Right, we've got to go and take on Liverpool and a load of other teams now. But I do not care. I will see you back for one, two, three, four. Maybe we'll do the EFL on a Southampton game. Bring some of the low league teams before we... Yeah, then get into the fun ones as we get towards Christmas. But that is what a way to end the episode. 1 0 win against Tottenham. Finally, finally got one over on Portuccino. I mean, we lost to Man City. That wasn't too bad. Um, we will work on that away formation because we've got a good couple of away games coming up, especially against Fulham and Bradford. So we'll work on that, but I'll bring you that next time. Ha! If you have enjoyed that episode, please do smash that like button. I mean, we have just beaten Portuccino. Uh, let me go back and show you the pain of the 6 1 loss. On top, Jesus, and Neymar gives the ball away. One minute, one minute, jeez. Dio on the ball now, out to Walker. Oh my God, six minutes in and we're 2 0 down. I don't know what it is about Tottenham, big game. And Mobley's through on goal. I'm like this. Into Luan, and Mobley, hells, bells. 4 1, Luan again. Oh my God, they've scored the same goal five effing times i bring a live com and you get beaten 5-1 oh my god it's 6-1 deli ali scored he's a cock as well that's what this means that's why i'm so excited so please do smash that like button subscribe if you are new to the channel otherwise i will see you next time for some more big herder nerd west ham united directors challenge action have a good day bye, -bye.